Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Stephen Koch, stephenkoch.com, climbing tips. And I am going to sharpen my front points um, from my dart, my Petzl Charlet dart crampons. And they're pretty worked here. Um, very dull, which happens when you're mixed climbing um, or climbing in general, you know, because rarely are you strictly on ice. You hit rock step on rock, use rock to uh, at some point during the during the climb. So I'm going to sharpen these secondary points. Um, I'll give these third points a little sharpening. I'll, I'll basically go through everything real quick, but mainly I want to work on the front because those are the ones that you're climbing with uh, primarily. So I'll go through that and I'm going to try and I've been avoiding this because it's kind of a pain in the ass, really, to sharpen um, crampons, but it's necessary, so I'll get to it here. Yeah, these are pretty worked, but that's alright, because that's the nature of it. And it's hard to kind of get a good angle on these. So you just do your best, you know, mainly as long as they're sharper than they were, then you've, you know, succeeded. I'm flattening out the bottoms a little bit, which will give me more of a platform to work from to sharpen the front point, the this part here. Yeah, these are getting pretty pretty far back there, but that's okay. Because the nice thing is, as this shortens up, you can move move uh, the front bail back, which I've already done, um, which gives me more extension here on the front points. Moves it all forward. So I want it to be sharp and I want a flat surface just like with my picks for stepping on small little edges and then also for penetrating the ice. If you knew you were just going to be stepping on edges you wouldn't bother sharpening the point. You would just flatten the bottom. But you want both. Um, that's why it's called mixed climbing. You're both in rock and ice. So the farther down I go, the quicker it's going to dull, the thinner I make it. So you want to try and find a balance in there. So I'm not going to go all the way to a fine point because then I'd have to take this way back here and I don't want to do that right now I think it's okay another thing I'm going to do is to sharpen these up a little bit make it a little easier to release So that's looking pretty good. I got my flat flat surface here. Um, these are a little pointier for gripping in ice. And that's pretty pointy too. I'm not taking this down to the finest point I can because 
Uh, it's just, I'm going to have to come farther back on it, and it's just going to wear out quicker too when I hit rock, which you're going to do. So that's the front point. I'm happy with that. And then with these secondary points, just come up like this, and I always go towards the point. Give it a few. I mean, I can round it up and get it just the very end sharp, but that's not going to last very long. So the farther back I come, the flatter I make it. The longer I make the point, it's going to be a little bit better, or a lot better, and last longer. So then, yeah, trying to hold it is a challenge, but this looks good here. Yep, that's pretty sharp. I'm happy with that. And then with these, again, I'm just going to get these sharp, and eventually you take off these little pieces here because, you know, it's, they're not serving much purpose when you need to get them, get the crampons sharp. So those look like they're probably going to come off now once I turn it over. And your hands get kind of worked. You can wear leather gloves if you want to protect your hands a little more because a lot of little cuts and scrapes occur when doing this. If you're not careful, and even if you are, it just tends to happen, the nature of it. So then here... I guess I will have a little bit of a tooth left on this. And that's a little rounded, um, but that's okay. That's kind of the nature of them when they start to get worn down. Everything gets a little rounded. So I'll do one more here just to show you this. And then I'll finish this up another time. Yeah, if I can stabilize it, it's better. I can get a more pressure on it. So there you go. I'm uh, happy with these here and here, and then mainly the front, and then I'll finish these up after. You don't need to see it all. So that's how I sharpen my crampons and tends to work pretty well. You know, they get worn out really quickly, um, mixed climbing and on, on rock and scrambling. So the more you can take your crampons off when you're on rock, the better it is. But a lot of times it's just not practical. So that's why we file them and eventually you replace them. Uh, this is Stephen Koch, stephenkoch.com climbing tips, sharpening crampons. I hope that goes well for you. May you have a uh, safe, fun, and successful climbing adventure. Take care.